Hello, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome, I'm Katie, this is my home, this is Peppy next to me, oh no she doesn't, she doesn't want to be in the video. I have moved to Devon from London with my husband and our dog um, and we have bought a three bedroom semi detached house um, in the heart of Devon and we're currently renovating it so this is the third room that I have I want to say finished, it's not quite finished, but it's almost there. Um, but I thought it was ready to show to you guys, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm going to show you the process of how we got here first, um, and then at the end I'm going to give you a room tour, so I will see you in a bit. I wanted to show you these earrings. They are misguided via ASOS, and I'm obsessed with them, I think they're so nice. I absolutely love them, I love a statement earring, and I just thought... I would wear them today um but anyway i'm gonna pop you on the windowsill because i'm gonna get dragging out all the bags and boxes and things and try and clear this room <laughs> so echoey um but it's looking good i've just given it a quick hoover and now it's time to start demolishing so i'm gonna get the hammer and start pulling things like the nails out the walls and like this this is just so random it's so funny this tiny little shelf that i don't know i don't know what purpose that has I have no idea. But um, yeah, there's lots of like brackets in the walls and things. And then, this is the one thing that really annoys me is there's wires all over this house that obviously I'm not gonna cut because I'm not an electrician and I'm a little bit worried and don't wanna electrocute myself. But this one, I'm pretty sure, is part of, um, so this is the one that our, um, I don't know what you call him, the guy that came around to do our Virgin um, fitted. So he put this in. Um, but we have this one as well, which I assume is for Sky or something, and goes to a box, but it goes all the way along the top of the skirting board, and then behind the door, and goes up into the attic. So I might get my dad to have a look at that and see if we can cut it, um, because obviously I'd quite like that out of the room, and it's not going to go... Once I put the skirting board in, I don't just want a bit of cord just, like, hanging down. And you can see, like, a lot of this is quite dirty. Oh, is it going to focus? Um, so I think what I might do, I've seen a few people do this, I might panel the door because obviously like buying doors and things that like, you don't want to be doing it all the time so I might just buy a bit of wood and just panel the door and then I can paint the door white as well just so it looks a little bit fresher, a bit neater. Is it going to focus? There we go. But you can see how like dirty everything is so it just needs a good there's marks on the wall, so it just needs a good polish. Ew, that's gross. I think they had the bed here, so I think that's just like grease and grime from a bed. Um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing how it's gonna go, but I just love the view from this window. I think it's so nice to have those lovely white houses there. Um, and onto our little garden. So I'm gonna get cracking now. Get cracking with the demolishing. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to try and see what's underneath the floorboards. I really, really hope it is um, like actual floorboards. I know it will just be the subfloor, but I'm going to use that anyway. This house kind of needs to breathe. We've had a bit of a problem with mold um, and mold growing on the windows um, or like around the walls and stuff. So we need to fix that problem. Um, we know the windows need replacing. We knew they needed replacing when we bought the house, but because we have plans for um, the house and stuff, like we, we don't want to do them right now. We want to wait a little bit until we've got all the money and then we're going to do like the extension um, and all the windows and stuff at the same time. Cause obviously it's not a cheap job to do. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. I'm going to stop ranting and I'm going to um, start the demolishing. Okay, I thought I'd do a little progress update for you. My parents came over, they've now gone, but they helped me massively. I've um, done all the walls, I've um, pulled all the things out. I actually gave myself a massive smack on the head, like here, it's still a bit tender, just here. Um, with the hammer, as I was pulling a nail out the wall, the hammer smacked me back in the face, which 
was a bit stupid um so that hurt just a little bit but i'm okay um so yeah i've filled all the holes now i just need to sand them and my dad helped me pull up the skirting board and we have floorboards underneath so that's really good my dad was like you do know floorboards are going to be really cold and you're going to have loads of air coming up and i was like well that's the point i want my house to be able to breathe peppy's very unsure you all right peppy you okay you don't like it in here um but yeah so my job tonight is to hello darling hello sweetheart so my job tonight is to pull up all the floorboards, which shouldn't actually be too difficult. We've pulled up the first few, so it's not going to be too difficult for me to do. Um, but yeah, it's looking all right so far. This is what the floor is looking like. And I know a lot of people are probably going to say, yeah, but that's the subfloor, it's not floorboards. But you know what? It's cheaper than having to buy new flooring. So I'm just going to sand it all down. And I'm going to paint it white anyway. So it's not. it doesn't matter that it's not perfect because I'm going to paint it. Um, and obviously when all this was being pulled up the wall has gone a bit but that will be covered with skirting board I think my skirting board is probably about this high so that shouldn't matter obviously I'll just like sand down all the bits and I've got to pull out all the nails and things but got a bit crumbly crumbly but I think it should be absolutely fine but that is a job for tomorrow I think so in the meantime, I'm going to put you guys on time lapse um, and I'm going to pull up the rest of the floor. Okay, potentially found something a little bit annoying. Um, the floorboards under the radiator don't look great. So this is what's happened. Somebody's cut a big chunk. So I don't really know what to do about that. That's very annoying, um, very annoying. That one actually looks okay. And the floorboards look all right. They're a little bit like wet. I don't know what's happened here. If something's spilt or someone's like put something on it, I don't know. But obviously they're not great, but I do think once they're painted white, they'll look really, really nice. I just don't know what to do about this bit in the corner. Potentially, tomorrow, I might have to get my parents to drive me to B&Q so I can pick up maybe a spare board for this bit here. Um, and then just redo that little section for that, just to neaten it up. Because obviously, that's going to be an absolute pain. You really don't want a hole like that, do you? I do have some wood filler, so I may fill in a few of the cracks and things and maybe try and fill as much of this as I can so that there's not as many holes. But I'm going to sweep all this now, get rid of all the crap, and then um, maybe try and fill some of the holes. Right, it's a new day today, still very echoey in this room. The sun is shining, so it looks really, really lovely. Um, my dad helped me rip off all the skirting board, so all the skirting board is now gone. How I'm going to refit the other skirting board behind the radiator, I have no idea. So I've got to try and figure that out at some point. I think I'm going to have to cut it in half, which is very annoying, so I really don't want to do that. Um, and then put the pieces behind the radiator, so could be a fun one. Um, today I am going to, I'm going to get some sugar um, soap now and mix it with some water and then wipe down all the walls get rid of like the grease and stuff so the paint sticks better and i'm also going to clean off like this top bit here where it looks a little bit moldy i've just put the radiators on because i was out last night i stayed at my parents house because they had some family friends over and, and i wanted to see them as well but i have filled in all the holes i've sanded that down so that is all ready to be painted really i just have to clean all the walls sand all the little bits my dad managed to get all the nails out the wall he um actually ended up cutting them so that the walls are just still um so that the nails are just still in the wall because it was pulling half the plaster work out when we were pulling the nails out so this is what it is this is what it looks like so you can see there's like a massive hole there there is a big gap here but i'm hoping that's all going to be so yeah this is what we're dealing with at the moment there are a few like big chunks taken out but because the skirting board is going to cover that, it should be fine. So this is like the big marks that I'm going to try and get off the wall now. And then as you can see up here, it's like 
it just looks gross. It's like crusty and a little bit damp and a little bit moldy. So I'm going to give that a big scrub and a sand um, and clean all of that off as well. And then, and I also, I'm gonna spray a bit of mold killer there because it looks like there's a tiny bit of mold starting there. So the mold problems continue in this house, which is very annoying because the survey didn't pick it up. But yeah, this is the room, how it's looking as a blank canvas. Okay, so this is the color I'm going for. It's called Honolulu. So I'm gonna open this up now and do a little tester on the walls. This is just my tester pot. Um, before I crack open the real one just because I want to check that the colour's okay um, and matches like what I'm going for. So yeah, I'm gonna open this one now and have a little look. Okay, this is the test. Here it is on the wall. I think I quite like it. It's actually lighter than it looks on camera. Maybe if I go, mm, no, it's showing up really dark, but it's really, really not this dark. It's actually a lovely like soft pink and I think I'm quite happy with it. It's almost the colour of the plaster actually, but I think I'm happy with it. Yeah, hopefully. I might do a little tester on this wall and just check in this light as well. I think I like it. It's so difficult to tell, isn't it? But it's basically, it is the colour of the plaster, but I'm sure it's gonna dry a little bit lighter. But actually, look, that's, that's probably a more true representation of what it looks like. And I think it's actually quite a nice pink. I'm pretty sure it is what I was going for. And I think when it's all, when the room is all dressed, it's gonna look good. And once the panelling's up, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. this kitchen this is nice a window these are the curtains we've got I think in our sitting room favorite room isn't it what is it all the pictures that you like Love it. all the color Love the color I like the um lights on the bottom it's nice and the plant the little splash of green this is um Oh yeah. This is a marble effect. Well, fake, but yeah. This is a leather suit. Big ones with the leather. I don't really like leather. I'm not a massive not fan. Into the sitting room. Oh no. Okay, my paint from yesterday has all dried and I'm really pleased with the colour. Mama? Do you like the colour? Gorgeous. <laughs> she likes it. Um it's gone lighter which i'm really happy with and we've been to oh that's bright we've been to ikea today and we've grabbed some curtains oh my mum bought me some curtains which was really lovely she bought me a few other things as well and we've just got the wallpaper out so oh i'm out of breath this wallpaper is from a company called photo wall it cost it didn't cost me anything they very kindly gifted this to me 
Um, but the wallpaper that I've bought is £271 um, to cover this wall here. Um, and then the kit, the wallpaper kit costs £18. So in total, it's £289. Um, and we're going to have an incredible feature wall when we're done. But we're about to cut up all the panels and start trying to wallpaper it. So um, I'm roping in my mum to help me. Hopefully there'll be no arguments. <laughs> um, so let's get started. We were doing the calculations yesterday and realised that I made a stupid mistake and I um, ordered the paper too big. Essentially, it says on the website to um, make sure that you leave a few centimetres like either side um, to account for any errors when you measure. I measured perfectly, so didn't really need to add anything extra. Um, so I added extra and then um, I added extra on the bottom as well to account for those measurements. But obviously didn't account for the fact that we're going to have a skirting board on the wall. So with the skirting board on, um, plus the amount that I have um, added, I think we're 18.4 centimetres over what we need to be, which is very annoying. So I've decided I'm going to shave 15 centimetres off the top of every sheet um, and then we're just going to lose a few centimetres at the bottom, which is absolutely fine. That will just go sit behind the skirting board and look neat. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. The top is a lot of sky anyway, so we don't lose any of the actual um, features like the monkeys and things like that. But totally my fault. I shouldn't have ordered it so big. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get started with that. I also think what I might do is paint, um, is prime and paint the outside boards um, floorboards so that I can put the skirting board on because I can't do the panelling until I put the skirting board on because the panelling is just going to sit on top of the skirting board. Um, I'll insert a picture to explain what I mean somewhere here. Maybe I'll go over here so I can um, show you but yeah essentially the skirting board will go along the bottom and then I'll have panelling um, sitting on top of it and then another board across the top and then like a little bit of beading to act like a almost like a shelf um so that's what i'm going to do i think i might need to paint um the wall a little bit lower to allow for the skirting board because the skirting board's not actually as high as i thought it was the skirting board is 14.4 um centimeters high which i think is a nice height it is high for a skirting board but not as high as i thought it would be so um i'm gonna get going with that today show you the wallpaper in the daylight because it looks amazing we had a few issues where I had cut the paper too short let's take a minute for that oh my phone is ringing Ben has his um his car account hooked up to my phone number so whenever he gets a car somewhere they call me which is so infuriating um but anyway so they've just called me he really needs to sort that out off on a tangent, <clears throat> wallpaper's done. I'm so pleased with it. It took us hours because we had cut it too short, but you can't notice where we've cut it short. It looks amazing. The print is incredible. I'm so impressed with the colors and it works perfectly with the pink wall that I, um, that I painted. The Honolulu color goes so well with this, which I knew it would. One second, they're calling me again. <laughs> Okay, hopefully Ben has got into his car. He's not picking up my messages, so hopefully he's fine. But yeah, this is the Honolulu pink with the wallpaper. And look at the detail. Look at all the little monkeys and the jungle scenery. This plug gave us some grief. It was very difficult to do, very difficult to cut out, but um, got there in the end. I think it looks good. And you really can't see the seams from the wallpaper. We really pushed it together so that there were no um, seams. And I mean, here's one, which... Yeah, you can see that, but 
I don't think it looks bad. I really don't think it looks bad. We've tried to push them together as much as we can. So hopefully this will last a long time and look beautiful, but just, oh, those colors, aren't they incredible? Um, I'll show you it from this side so you can see it with the daylight. That's probably more true colors, but I'm really, really pleased. We still have to put up the, um, hello Peppy. What are you doing? I don't want her to go near that um, wallpaper paste. I need to figure out a way to chuck that out. I have no idea how. Um, but we still have to prime and paint the floorboards, um, paint the skirting and paint the panelling and install them. Um, and then I have to start decorating the room. And there's little things like paint splodges that I need to wipe off and things like that. But And I also need to um, spray paint the uh, curtain rail to go up there. Um, I love the view from this room. Um, yeah, we need to spray paint the curtain rail up there. And then this is where all the paneling is gonna happen along this wall. Um, you can see there's a bit there that I tried to fill in. Oh, it's not focusing. Um, but it didn't, it didn't fill very well. It was a massive hole. That's where they had a TV. So hopefully it's not gonna be noticeable. Maybe I'll put a picture there or something, but I'm pleased with how it is looking so far. What do you think, monkey? What do you think, little girl? Oh, hello. Hello. It's the evening. Um, I haven't been in the room for, I, I didn't actually do anything yesterday, um, but today I have started priming late in the evening. Um, so I'm priming the floorboards so that I can paint the skirting board so that the skirting board can go in um, because I want to be able to like have that patch of floor painted before the skirting board goes in so that it can be like a completely um, seamless line and so that obviously the skirting board covers up like all the sins beneath. Um, but yeah, the primer is looking really good and it's really brightened the room, I think. I think it's gonna make such a big difference. I'm really excited to see what it's gonna look like with white floorboards. I'm loving it so far. So um, yeah, gonna keep painting um, and I will catch up with you guys in a bit. I'm back in my pink jumper. This has become my working in here jumper. Um, ben and I this morning are just working out where the panelling is going to go. So really exciting. This is currently what it's looking like here. It's obviously not going to look like that. We're going to have the skirting board and then that's going to sit on top of the skirting board and then we'll have a wooden beam on top and then like a little shelf. Probably not explaining myself very well so let me see if I can show you what I mean. So. So this, no. right, do you know what? I'm gonna get a narrow one because that's gonna be easier to show you. So it's gonna sit like this. This will go on top, but obviously all the way across, and then this one is too long as well, but this will basically sit on top of that, like that. So I think it's going to look quite nice, and I think we've decided I prefer for in here, I want narrower panelling versus wider panelling. Um, so we had a bit of a debate today as to whether we wanted this many or less, but I think this looks really nice. It's going to be quite tall panelling, um, but... Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I think it's gonna look really nice. I think bigger panelling would make the room look wider, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do a poll on Instagram. I don't know. Ooh. It's dark, so hopefully you can see enough and hopefully you can hear me because it's very echoey. But I wanted to give an update because I think it's been a little while since I actually did one. We have put up half of the skirting board um, we had a bit of an issue because the no more nails that we bought was not sticking the skirting board to the wall because it's slightly warped. Apparently that's quite common when you buy um, wood from B&Q. So we enlisted the help of my dad um, and what we've done is screwed it all into the wall properly so that it's all stuck on. And then what I have to do is just go over with decorators cork I think it's called afterwards um, 
and just go over the nails and paint over it again so you can't see it. And I've also started to put up the paneling which you can see behind me. Um, so we, let me flip you around. This is what the paneling is currently looking like. It's not finished because it still needs a lip along the top there um, and it needs another coat of paint. But again, I'm gonna fill in all the nails um, and then paint it all again. But I'm really pleased with how it's looking. I've pushed everything to the edge at the moment because I'm about to prime the rest of the floor and give it a coat um, of paint. Because I think what we're gonna do is um, give it a coat or two because currently all the edges have two coats and then I think I'm just gonna do one more third coat across the whole thing just to make it neat because where I've painted it over here and where we've been like sanding and doing stuff, it's kind of colored a bit. So I'd rather it's proper, proper white. Um, but I'm really pleased with how the paneling has come along. Ben's gone to the gym, so we did this lot together and I've just put up all this lot myself, which I'm very impressed with myself for. The problem is, it's kind of, let me focus, it's only just holding it because this is just plaster um, and obviously that's quite movable, so there is a bit of a gap between them, but I'm hoping once it's got a coat of paint on, it's not gonna be too noticeable, and if we really want, we can do another one in the middle, but I'm not sure it's gonna make much of a difference. Um, but yeah, so we've got this bit of skirting board on. I need to sort out this bit of skirting board here as well. Um, I think me and Ben are gonna try and do that, or I might try and do that now even, um, and get that bit on, then I can finish off the paneling, and then my parents are gonna come over tomorrow and do this bit of skirting, because this requires my dad's help, because it's an external wall, so it requires um, slightly more intense drilling. Um, but yeah, plan is just get this little bit of skirting board up, the rest of the paneling done, and then the big bit of paneling across the top. Um, and then, we, do you know what? We are almost there, almost there. I think what I've decided is Ben and I went to stay at the Newt in Somerset um, a few days ago, and all their rooms, in each of the rooms, the door and the door frame are painted the same color. And I think this stands out quite a lot. So what I might do is actually paint the door, Ooh, can you see? The door and the door frame, the same Honolulu pink as all this, so it all ties in really nicely. Because the floor's gonna be white, so I feel like that'll make it look quite um, bright. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. It looks quite small like that, but it has made the ceiling look taller. And I think when this is on as well, it's gonna look amazing. And then we still can't decide what bed to get in here. Um, Hopefully we'll make a decision fairly soon, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how it's looking, and this still looks amazing. Our paper up here, so happy days! And this bit just needs some curtains. We need new light um, shade or something up there, but yeah, it's, it's almost, almost there, you guys. Okay, I'm just showing you through the door the update of the room. We've put up all this paneling today, and the skirting board has gone on and we've just put the primer down the middle. What we're gonna do is put another coat of paint over the top of the primer um, and then I think that's gonna be it. Maybe we'll get two coats on if we have time and if it dries in time. And then once tomorrow is over, because we have my sister and her boyfriend staying, um, we are going to do another coat of paint over the whole of it. And then obviously I need to cork all the holes where all the um, screws are and everything. Um, and paint, give it a final coat of paint. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but the curtains are gonna be here, so hopefully that'll cover that little patch and it won't notice that the, um, that the paneling just ends there. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with how it is looking. All the paneling is here as well. So what I've had to do along this wall is put in um, raw plugs all the way along on all the screws um, and then screw them in that way because they weren't sticking because it's just plasterboard they were kind of um coming out so we've had to put raw plugs along the whole thing um so that's nice and secure this one seems to be holding all right though so i don't think we really need it here um the last thing to go on here is all the beading along the top but i think we're going to wait until after this weekend because we have some um we have our housewarming party tomorrow and we have lots of people coming over for drinks as well so yeah this is just ready for now because obviously none of these panels are painted either but i'm pleased with how it's looking 
The room is nearly finished. I'm so excited. All the paneling is up. It's all painted. It's all filled. It looks really, really good. I'm so happy with it. I ended up painting the door here um, just because I felt like it fitted into the room a little bit more. Let me flip you around so you can see what I mean. But do you see what I mean? Otherwise, it was just like, I mean, the color of it was horrible. It was like a creamy white, but I am so pleased with how all the paneling looks. I think it looks great. Love the white floor. Um, ben and I have ordered a bed. So the bed is a white four poster. We were gonna go for a black one, but annoyingly we left it too late and it sold out. So the bed costs 150 quid. So I'm hoping it's good quality. Um, it's from a company called Crazy Price Beds and we bought it. So fingers crossed, it's all okay. We're gonna pop to Ikea today and get things like um, duvet, duvet cover um, and pillows and things like that. Um, and maybe like some, uh, dressing gowns and things as well but it's really coming together I have a chest of drawers that's going to go down here and then we can put the TV on top we've got decenio prints going all along this wall they're black and white animals and they look amazing and we've got gold frames for them so I'm so excited about that um, I'm so pleased with how this room is coming together so this room was a challenge um, but I'm, I'm really happy with how it's turned out there are a few things that I'm not sure if I've made a mistake on um, the bed for one. I don't know if um, I went for the right one. Hello monkey. She wants cuddles. Um, I don't know if I went for the right one. Um, I'm not sure about the colour of it. Initially we wanted to buy a black one um, but then we kind of had to rush getting the bed um, so we went for white and I don't know if the white is too much of a contrast in this room um, because obviously the bedding's white, the floor's white and I I, I don't know. I'm going to let you guys be the judge. Let me know what you think on that. Um, but overall, I'm really pleased with how the room turned out. It's kind of a love it or hate it. It's like Marmite. You will either love it or hate it. Um, but I think it's fun. It's a guest room. Currently, Ben and I are using it as our master bedroom because our master bedroom has a damp problem. There's mould in it. Um, and we're just using that to store our clothes. They're on rails, so they're off the floor and away from the walls. Um, but... Yeah, we need to, that's going to be my next big project to go in and completely redo that room. But I'm really happy with how this room turned out. I love, um, we're calling it the jungle room, by the way. I don't know if I've said that. Um, so this is the jungle room. It's our guest bedroom. Um, I love it. The wallpaper is just such a huge feature in the room and people see it when they come in and they're like, oh my God, that's so fun. And then they see all the little animals and things and they're like, wow, I love it. So yeah, I think you're either going to love it or hate it, um, but let me give you a little tour and I'll show you the before and after if I've got those clips so I can um, stitch it all together. Okay, so this is what you see as you enter the room. This is currently mine and Ben's favourite room in the house and I will insert the before and after clips as well. So you can have a little look. Sorry, I just ran up the stairs. Um, I love the view from the window as well of the houses behind. It's so beautiful. Peppy very happily sitting on the bed. So as you come in, to your right, I've put this plant. My sister and her boyfriend got us two of these um, for this room and I absolutely love them. I'm burning. This is a Jo Malone candle. This is orange blossom scented candle, which I love and I just think fills the room so nicely. Sadly, it coloured at some point. I must have had it on a windowsill. Um, and then I've just got some gypsophila up there. Then I'm just going to shut the door. As you pan round, the first thing you notice as you come into the room is this incredible wall wallpaper. So the wallpaper is from a company called Photo Wall of Sweden. Um, and I'll link them down below and I'll link the one that we got. But I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I think it looks amazing. Um, and then to match, so everything is kind of like jungle themed. We have this beautiful lamp from Danelle. <laughs> Hello, Bubby. You're wondering what's going on. Hello, darling. Um, beautiful lamp from Danelle. Um, and I kind of want to get another one. I like symmetry, so I kind of want one on this one and one on the other side. And it's sitting on the bedside table. This is actually a chair. Um, this is a chair I bought from an auction house. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's so, so beautiful. I'll just move the lamp so you can see it properly. But look at the detail in that. It is um, a vintage chair, and actually I googled them, and each, they're quite expensive. So I'm really, really pleased 
to have them in the room. I think they add so much and they look so beautiful. And I love that they've got a bit of history. I love mixing the old and new. So a brand new lamp with a beautiful vintage chair, I think looks fabulous. Um, I have a basket down here, look at the little monkey face. Basket down here that was given to us by um, my mother-in-law. So Ben's mum gave us that, which I love. And it fits the um, guest housing. And I think that looks lovely. Here you can slightly see the seam in the wallpaper, but I don't mind too much. This big unit came from, my mum is currently doing jewellery um, in Exeter in Devon and the place where she does it uh, posted an Instagram the other day and said they had a big unit that they wanted to get rid of. If anyone wanted it, could they come in the next like day or so and pick it up? So I said 100% yes, so this was actually free and I think it's beautiful. I'm currently using it to store loads of beauty things, so really happy with how that turned out. Obviously, I love the white floorboards. They are getting quite dirty. Um, I don't know if you can see like down here. It's actually a bit of dust there. I probably should have hoovered. Um, but yeah, I'm, I really like how they look. I think they look great um, and I love them with the paint. And this is my panelling. Obviously, here you can see there's a bit of a join. Um, I am going to fix that at some point. I'm going to um, uh, polyfiller probably over um, and then sand it down and paint it again. But it doesn't bother me enough to do something to it at this point. But DIY homemade paneling, um, I am really impressed with myself and how this turned out. Um, I think I'm quite handy in the art of paneling now. But yeah, Ben took off the door handles and spray painted them gold just so everything like blended in. And at some point we want to redo the electrics in this room as well and replace like the lights and things like that. Um, this is my lovely man from Africa by JP Ludo. Um, and I think he looks absolutely gorgeous there. I love him. Um, this wall is currently quite blank at the moment. I'm thinking of doing a big feature wall here and filling it with all our hats. Um, so putting pins on the walls and then putting hats on top. I'll insert a picture of what I mean, but I think that would look really, really good. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on that as well. Right, this is the view from the end of the bed. Peppy loves this bed. My cushions that I bought from H&M Home, the duvet and covers are from Ikea, just super simple, super cheap. Um, and then we got this light shade from Ikea as well. It's a Philips bulb in there, so um, it's actually controlled by an app as well if we want it to. Um, but I just love the glass casing around it. I didn't want a big heavy um, light fixture here, so I think that works really, really nicely. And the bulb is quite a pretty one, so I think that works quite well. I don't know if you can see the bulb no but never mind um yeah so this is the bed then um i don't mind it from this side it's more when you flip it around and see it from the other side that i'm not so sure the sun coming in through the window just looks fabulous i love this corner here as well we've got another of the plants i also got this um magnifying glass at the auction as well it's mother of pearl on the outside um and then just the magnifying glass and then this which i think is from halcyon days Oh, that has Ben's wedding ring in. He takes it off when he goes to the gym, so that's there, nice and secure. Um, and another one of the beautiful chairs. And Peppy wondering what I'm doing still. You are right, darling? Hello, sweetheart. And then, this is my favourite view of the room, I think. I absolutely love it from this angle. So you can see the paint really, really well. The bed in the middle. Um, and then our incredible prints from Desenio. So I'm really, really pleased with these. You can see me in the mirror down here. Hello, I'm wearing my slippers. So we have this beautiful Jaguar, the giraffe. We've got the gorilla and then the rhino butt and then the zebra. Um, and I just love how these look. The gold frames are from Desenio as well. Um, I think they really add to the room and just add to the jungle theme. Obviously, I know a lot of them are from Africa. And not the jungle, but, you know, we'll go with it. Um, but yeah, I think these really, really add to the room. Um, and then I have a mirror down here because I think you always need a full-length mirror in a bedroom. Obviously, you can't really see full length in this at the moment, but... I'm happy with it anyway. And then if I flip you round, hopefully you'll be able to see and the color's not gonna change too much. We got these beautiful green uh, curtains from Ikea and they're quite light so you can see the light through them, which I really, really like. I don't like dark curtains in rooms. Um, and then we spray painted all the curtain rail um, gold as well. We didn't touch the ceiling. Um, I'm still a bit concerned that there might be asbestos in the ceiling so I haven't actually touched 
any of them um but that is something we'll get sorted at some point and then obviously you can see there's not a huge walkway between the bed and the side and the panelling but I just love how everything's framed I think it looks really really lovely my only thing about this whole room is the bed I'm just not sure I'm just going to climb right into the corner and show you from this angle I'm just not sure if the white is too contrasting um, I do like it but we're just not sure it was a super cheap bed so I can get rid of it Sorry, it ran out of space, but yeah, so I can get rid of the bed if I need to. It was only £150 or £180, so I can sell it on if I need to. Obviously, I'd rather not. It's a bit of a faff, but let me know what you guys think. I thought I could spray paint it gold, but I don't want the room to be too gold, if you know what I mean. Um, and I do like the white with the white floorboards. It's just more, like, obviously you can see there was a sticker there and stuff, like these silver bolts and the paint is a little bit chipped and things, so... Oh, there's just a few things I'm not so happy with about it, but overall, I do like it. I like how the room looks, um, and I would love to know what you guys think. I've got Peppy with me now. Um, yeah, leave me a comment down below with what you think of the room, what you would have done differently. Um, drop this video a like, and please do subscribe if you haven't already. Our little community is growing um, quite a lot now, and I'm really, really proud of it. Um, I love hearing from you guys so let me know what you'd like the next video to be I'm gonna do a little home update because there's a few other things that we've done in the house um, but yeah I think this is gonna be my first video of 2020 so um, if I haven't already said it then happy new year um, and I will see you in the next video bye <laughs>